A-A-A-B on the track, yeah. Well, hello you guys today I am going to be reviewing the new Riri Fenty bronzers I'm sure you already heard all about them but I was especially motivated to do this review because I have always been a fan of bronzers I feel like back in the day I was more into it I actually used to used to use bronzer as my um, setting powder Back in the day, I'm from Cali, so it was always about that bronze glow. So, always have been a fan of bronzers, so I was like, you know what? For some crazy reason, I don't have any Fenty products yet. I wanted to try the foundation. They didn't have my shade in at the time. I never followed up on it. I wanted to get a few of her eyeshadow palettes that she came out with. Just never got around to it, and I'm like, nah. It's time for me to get into these Fenty products, so let's jump into this. I made... Two separate trips to the Sephora store and I will get all into that in a little bit but the first time I went and y'all I had some points I should have took this out to use today the lights camera lashes it's the little samples you know when you have your little points you can use up so got that and then I got initially the first bronzer is the Sun Stalker and this one is which one this one is the Mocha Mommy, and again, I'm sure you guys have heard all about these. And then I also picked up this concealer. It looks like the name is Jossie Marin. Um, they're like a new brand, according to the girl who worked there. The name of this concealer is Vibrancy, and let me tell you, you guys, if you have dry skin, I feel like sometimes the drier skin, people are like missed in the beauty community. I feel like it's really hard, like everything is mattifying. But anyways, that was the struggle that I was having with my concealer, and I have tried plenty. So the girl who worked there told me about this one, and it has argan oil. So if you're dry like me, especially around the eyes, this is going to be moisturizing. This feels great. A little goes a long way. The color that I purchased is rich, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Maybe I'll do a more in-depth review later because it's not about concealer today. But yeah, so as I was saying, that day I got the Mocha Mommy. I probably should have opened up these packages beforehand because I do not want this video to be extra long. And, ooh, here's the packaging if you haven't seen. That is so beautiful. It's like a rose gold mirror reflection. Ooh. So here is the first color, Mocha Mommy. And this is the more, this is the deepest shade that they have. And initially, I was more interested in this warmer, deeper shade because I was thinking about using this bronzer more as a contour, even though <laughs> technically that's not what a bronzer is for. It's not really for contouring, but I find it very hard to find the perfect color for contouring. So I thought this was just so pretty. So this is a bronzer, but for me, I got it more, you know, just more for your contouring because this would be pretty dark on me as a bronzer. So that's why I did that. I felt like I already have, you know, own a nice amount of bronzers and all of mine are super affordable. So I'm going to do a separate video on that. So I was like, hmm. But then after watching some more reviews, I was like, you know what? I am going to go ahead and get the uh, the other one, which is the Coco Nati, because that would be more of my shade to wear as a bronzer. I hope this is making sense to you guys. And let me show you what that color looks like. Same type of beautiful packaging. Um, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. And you see that? You see how pretty that color is? But let me just compare the difference. It's like night and day. These kind of remind you of blushes in a way. But you see that? Big, huge difference. So, yeah. I got this with... The mind state like you know what this is going to be a very pretty contouring shade and then this one we can just really see how it'll act as a bronzer but so i think for my video i'm going to do that i'm going to use the darker one as a contour and then i'm going to use the lighter one as a true bronzer so you can see how it performs should i or should I just do, or maybe I'll just do a bronzer effect on both sides so you can really get a feel of how each one looks on each side so if you if you're my complexion or around my complexion you'll have an idea of what you're dealing with but i know a lot of videos are up on this but first 
I'm going to do the lighter shade, the Coconati, and the brush that I am going to be using is by It's My Ray Ray, PH, and this is a bronzer brush, so I thought, perfect. So we are going to, oh, and by the way, for my base, I use this that I'm loving for the first time. I heard so much about the Can't Stop, Won't Stop NYX foundation. I have Nutmeg and I have Mahogany, but I only use Nutmeg because right now, you know, I'm definitely still on a lighter side, but come summer, I'm thinking mahogany will be really, really good. I am loving the effect of this foundation so far. I haven't only had it on for like 30 minutes, but I just love the coverage. It feels very, very airbrushed. But um, I mix my foundation sticks with my liquid foundation. So I mix the black opal, and it's so funny because the shade stick that I use just happened to be the color Nutmeg too, but it's by Black Opal. So I use that foundation stick along with this, and I just feel like mixing the liquid with the stick, your foundation tends to last longer all day, especially if you have dry skin. Actually got that tip from Jaclyn Hill, and I've been using it and loving it. So that's what I use for my um, foundation base. I'm trying to think. Did I do anything else I just you know did my eyebrows oh for concealer that got a little bit tricky today I use the old school um, Urban Decay eyeshadow you know potion primer but I end up mixing it with this NYX eyeshadow base and then I just use like a little powder over my eyes to set it and that was pretty much that but yeah I don't know how I feel about this again I'm like I haven't used this in a long time and I feel like for dry skin it's just kind of drying so yeah that's about that. So let's just go ahead and take this bronzer brush and I'm going into the Coconati. And then to apply the bronzer, we're going to go right in this area right here. I don't think I need to smile or anything. Mm. And I do see it so far. I feel like it's showing up as like a, almost like a blush kind of effect or like a slight tan which a bronzer is supposed to do that so now I'm gonna go in here put a little but yeah I'm, I'm gonna get a little bit more heavier with this too mm. so it's very subtle and that's what I heard other girls who were trying this out for the first time say. And I would agree that it's very subtle. But I imagine this would be really nice. Because I've already started getting a little bit tan. Because we are going into spring. But right in winter when I lose all my pigments. Because I am back east now. I think this would be great. But it's very, 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 very subtle. Which I kind of expect from Riri. Because her makeup is always very flawless. But very subtle. Oh, wait. I'm not going to do this on this side. Sorry, my bad. So let me put a little bit more. But I do see it. You see? And so far. Oh, and you know what? I am going to use this later. But I also picked up the Penny for Your Thought. And I am loving this. Just trying it on in the Sephora store. So I'm going to apply this actually is an eyeshadow too so you can see the effect and I think I'll do a little bit on my face but anyways so far again this is coconati on this side and it definitely shows up and I really do like it because it, it is subtle because I feel like you don't need to be like heavy impact all the time like sometimes it's nice to be a little bit subtle so let's try the other one on the other side I'm just gonna dab the brush a little bit and now we're going to try the darker one the mocha mommy do this side right here mm, that definitely shows up like right away really intense you see why I said I wanted to go for more of a contour look that's what I had in mind purchasing this because wow yeah you do not need a lot of this but I love it though it's gorgeous it's really really pretty now again if you're darker than me then you probably could go ahead and use this as a bronzer the way I applied it on this side but you can see the difference like this one is definitely much more subtle and I am going to do another whole in-depth video on super affordable bronzers that I already have in my collection so I'm going to have that coming up for you guys soon so we see subtle and then boom 
I'm drawing more towards this side. Hmm. What are you guys thinking? I mean, again, it's very subtle, but I'm thinking in winter, this could be really, really pretty. So, so far, so good. Now we are going to get into, now, you know what? I feel like the, the Mocha Mommy is just making so much more of an impact that I'm just going to even it up on this side. And we're just going to rock with this today. Yeah, this is even this up. Oh, and then they also say go down your nose. I'm a little scared. No, I'm going to save that for the penny for your thoughts to go down the bridge of my nose. So let's get into that. So when I tried this on in the store, again, I felt like it had that shimmery, bronzy effect, but it wasn't like such a real high impact that you would just look like a bright copper penny, you know? It was still somewhat subtle. It looks like that in a packaging. Here's penny for your thought. It's actually a lot deeper in person, but this is how it looks. It's really, really pretty. And so to apply this, no, no, no. I don't want to apply this first because I kind of want to use that as a contour. So first I'm going to go in with this Hanging in Hawaii by BH Cosmetics. This is a really, really beautiful palette. And the color, here's all the beautiful colors. Wait, let me back up. Isn't these colors just gorgeous? Oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. So I am going to go in with the Waikiki right here first. And I am going to use my old, very old, but I love it, Odie But Goodie. It's a Chanel brush. This is like probably the Chanel Originals. And I am going to go, you know what? Should I do Waikiki or Sandy? Maybe I'll do Sandy. I'll do something a little bit lighter since I'm going to contour with that deeper color. Ooh. Oh my gosh look at how beautiful that is let me just tell you bh cosmetics have stepped their game up i'm loving all of their palettes that they've been coming out with i just purchased the it's my ray ray sorry my little puppy is right here i just purchased her second palette you know the it's my ray ray palette it looks beautiful can't wait to use it but BH Cosmetics is on fire. They're super affordable. They're always having sales. And the quality is there. Like, look at that. Okay, so let me... And the color that I end up going with is Sandy. So I'm going to put that. I just can't believe this pigment right now. Put it on this side. And I'm sorry if you hear a lot of noise in the background. But I feel like I live in a construction zone right now. Around me. Uh, that's the noise that you hear in the background tractors and stuff okay I'll put a little bit more in here okay so that's that I'm gonna have to get into this palette again real soon because these colors are just beautiful so now I'm going to contour with this and I'm going to use this blending brush and I think I got it and it just says contour eyeshadow for I don't remember the brand it was like in an ipsy glam um package that I got one month but we're just gonna go into here and I'm gonna use this to contour oh this is a great color to contour with when I while I was in the store I tried this all over my lid and applied it which it was pretty that way too especially right in the summer on a beach day but I like this using it as a contour shade too isn't that pretty very very pretty this is a perfect summertime color beautiful so 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 pretty so what I'm going to do off camera because I don't want this video long is I'm getting ready to apply a little bit of liquid eyeliner and I'm going to apply some mascara and I will be right back so I zoomed in much closer for you guys as you can see this penny for your thought is just looking so 
beautiful and glamorous. So anyways, off camera, I just used my current favorite mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Max Fantastic, and this mascara is just so beautiful. And then I also used my other current favorite, favorite eyeliner at this time, and this is the BH Liquid Eyeliner. I'm sorry if my speech sound a little bit slurred. I really need to eat because yeah it's like almost two o'clock haven't eaten so need to go handle that but anyways i'm going to take this it's like a lip brush maybe by this is actually by elf but i use it to apply you know shadow at the bottom of my lashes so i'm going to take that penny for your thought and apply it at the you know what before i do that i meant to do this off camera i'm just going to apply a little bit of liner really really quick Okay, so the liner that I use is by Lorac, and it kind of like faded off, but yeah, it's just like this, it came in a package with like other colors, but I love using that eyeliner. So applied that at the bottom, now I'm going, I'm going to go underneath my waterline with the Penny for Your Thought. this just totally to me is like summer time hitting the beach <laughs> especially when that sand i mean when that tan come through um you know for the summer glow this is going to be a super super nice look so definitely loving this um i am going to be using um, for my lip gloss, this is the BH Cosmetics, and this is, it's my Ray Ray, what is this called? Rosy Ray. So, going to apply that. You know what? I should have probably used something, like, more bronzier, you know, like, duh. But this kind of goes with the flow of my top, too, so... I'm wearing a floral blouse. I love that color. I think it's so pretty. So, add a little bit more. Oh yeah, so another thing that I said I was going to do, and that was go down the bridge of my nose with Penny for Your Thoughts. So I'm going to use that same blending brush I used just to... And that's what you're supposed to do with bronzer. It just really does give that nice, beautiful, subtle tan look. I have makeup all over my hands. But yes, so I am going to come back with my final thoughts. So final thoughts. I am loving the product. I must say that Coco Naughty is very, very much on the more subtle side. I mean, it's definitely pretty obvious that I am feeling the Coco Mommy <laughs> more. But um, it's still pretty, but it's definitely on the softer side. And if, um, of course, you're much lighter than me, then that would really, you know, show up on you very, very, very well. It was very, very subtle on me. I am loving the Mocha Mommy. I am absolutely in love with it. I think it's perfect for bronzer or even a contour shade. Love it. The Penny for Your Thought is amazing. I used a little bit on my nose. I use it as a contour on my eyes, but imagine even using this as a bronzer. Like I know I'm going to get so much usage out of this, especially when it comes, you know, summer, summer for real. So I am very happy with everything I used. I did, I was thinking about doing a little bit of blush. I have the Carity 
blush palette here. And where is the, oh, I guess I can use this brush right here. It's like an angle brush. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of this color just for a little bit of blush. I would highly recommend the products that I use today, but however, I am going to come out with that other video showing all of the different very affordable bronzers that I enjoy using just for a more affordable option because it is what it is. Everybody does not want to spend like $30 on a bronzer, may not have it, or just may not want to spend that much. So there are other affordable options. So I will be bringing that video to you guys soon so anyways share your thoughts down below how do you feel about these bronzers do you think it's something you would give a try i'm personally loving it and i think it's products i'll be using for a long time the quality is there the coverage is there so i'm really really happy hope you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit the notification video because i will have more videos to come and until next time see you then bye